about my seat belt. It's not ripped, cut, or torn. It's tight and secured to the cab of the truck here at the top and down at the bottom. It extends in and out properly. It locks and unlocks properly. My locking latch is not bent, cracked, or broken, and it's tight and secured to the floor. Turn my key so that I can see that my truck is in neutral and my brakes are applied. Okay. My cab liner is not ripped, cut, or torn. It's tight and secure and nothing's hanging in my face to uh, block my view of driving. My uh, storage, overhead storage, they're not bent, cracked, or broken, tight and secure and there's nothing in there that could fall out and block me from view of driving. My fuel sensor is not being cracked or broken. It's tight and secure. Green light would indicate no leaks. Red light would indicate leaks and I would need to vacate the vehicle immediately. Shut your door. All of my cab lights are clean, clear, not cracked, and they all tight and secure and work properly. My visors are not bent, cracked, or broken, tight and secure, and there's nothing stored in them that could fall out and distract me from driving. My windshield and all of my windows are clean, clear, not cracked. The rubber around them is not thinly worn. They're tight and secure, and there are no illegal stickers blocking my view. My windshield wipers, are both present. They're not bent, cracked, or broken. Tight and secure. They work properly. The rubber on my windshield washer, wiper blades are not ripped, cut, or torn, and tight and secure. The washer's fluid sprays properly, and they leave no streaks. My heating and cooling, The floor vent blows hot. My face vent blows hot. And my defrost is blowing hot. Check the air. My defrost is now blowing cold. My floor vent is blowing cold. And my face vents are blowing cold. Okay. Now I want to go into my dash cluster. All my indicator lights came on, my battery light and my ABS light came on and went off. This is my battery voltage. Um, the proper operating range for your battery voltage should be between 12 and 14, and right now I'm sitting at 13, so I'm good. Okay, my, this is my oil gauge. On my oil gauge, um, 5 to 25 is the proper idle range and 35 to 75 is the proper operating range oil my water my transmission gauge my rpms my miles per hour my fuel gauge and my two air gauges now i want to check my check to make sure that my needles register properly oh shit okay Let's try it again. Okay. As you see, my needle swept, and now they're sitting at the proper idle range. Okay. I want to check my left signal, my right signal, my high beams, and my hazards. They all work properly. I want to check the horns. Then I want to go, I want to drop down to my floor. 
My floor needs to be clean and clear of any trash and debris. Nothing like a roll under my pedals that would uh, cause me a problem to be able to use either of my pedals. My two-way radio is secured to the floor. It's not been cracked or broken and it works properly. My emergency equipment. I have three reflective triangles and six spare fuses. My fire extinguisher is fully charged. The pin is in and it's rated. My door. My support bars, all of my support bars are not big, cracked, or broken. They're tight and secured with nuts and bolts. My window handle is not big, cracked, or broken. And it rolls my window up and down properly. My door handle is not big, cracked, or broken. And it opens my door properly. The weather stripping in my door is not ripped, cut, or torn. And it's tight and secure. My hinges are not uh, bent, cracked, or broken. They're tight and secure, free of any trash and debris. My mirrors are clean, clear, not cracked, and I can adjust them to myself. My seat, my seat is tight and secure to the floor, and my seat is not ripped, cut, or torn. It is, I gotta adjust it for a bit. My seat is adjustable forward and back and up and down. Okay, now I'm going into my steering play test. My truck is running and I'm gonna move my steering wheel back and forth and I'm checking to make sure I have no more than 10 degrees or two inches of play on a 20 inch steering wheel before my left front tire slightly moves. It's good. Now I'm going to go into my parking brake test. And I want to check my truck brake first. Let me put my seatbelt on. Okay. So I'm going to release my trailer brake, put my truck in drive, and I'm going to tap the accelerator two times. And my truck didn't move. So I know that my parking brakes held. Reset myself. Now I'm going to check my trailer brake. I'm going to push in my parking brake. I'm going to put my truck in drive. And I'm going to tap two times. Two. Set myself. Now I know that my trailer brakes work because my dual tires locked i could feel the resistance and i could hear um my duals dragging and when you look in your mirror you can look at your dual tires and see that they're locked up okay now i'm going into my air brake test i'm going to shut my truck off turn my key back on and i'm going to release both brakes. Now I'm going to apply my foot to the service brake and I'm going to hold it down for one minute, checking my gauges to make sure I lose no more than four PSIs in one minute on a combination vehicle. And I'll physically hold this brake down and count 60 seconds. So I'm going to pretend that I held it down for one minute. Okay. So now I'm going to go into fanning my brake. At 60 PSI, my alarm will come on. Between 45 and 20 PSI, my parking brake should spring out. Okay. And they sprung out. So now I'm going to start my truck back up to build my pressure back up. Okay, once I reach 61 PSIs, my alarm will go off. Between 90 and 125 PSIs, I will then have enough pressure to finish my service brake test. I wanna look around and make sure I didn't forget to talk about something. I believe I got everything.
just in case I forgot. Okay, that's everything. Okay, I reached 61 PSI's and my alarm went off. My pressure is up over 90, so I could actually go ahead and do the uh, service brake test, but I want to go ahead and allow my tanks to get full. And when it gets full, it'll let you know you'll hear a sound. And that tells me that my tanks are now full. Now that my tanks are full, I'm going to do my service brake test and I'm going to pull forward at 5 miles per hour and apply my foot to the service brake, checking to make sure that my truck stops, okay? And I want to get my speedometer, I want to get it up to 5. When I hit 5, I want to apply the brake. forward at five miles per hour and applied my foot to the service brake checking to make sure that my brake stopped the truck and it did so I know that my service brake is working properly now this is my last chance to look around to make sure that I talked about everything inside or out before I say the magic words and I believe I am done and that completes my uh, pre-trip inspection.